Would you like to have more effective dialogues when addressing harm caused by racism and other forms of systemic oppression? Here are some of the steps. Step one, check willingness for dialogue. Are you willing to have a conversation with me about harm? I am. I, I think it'll be hard for me, but I'll, I'll try. Step two, make agreements to attend to any barriers to dialogue. I need someone there to make sure that we don't end without me having a chance to share my truth. Step three, the listener reflects the speaker's experience. Can you tell me what you heard me say? Why you think this is so important to me? Hmm. Let me try. Step four, empathize with all levels of impact. This impacted me both personally and professionally. Were you furious because you wanted to be treated with more care and respect? Step five, acknowledge systemic contributions. This is not just about me and you. You know, it's a pattern in our community. Mm, I imagine this pattern adds to the pain of what happened between us. Step six, take action to move towards repair and restoration. Learn the full process. These conversations are possible. We can talk about difficult subjects and move towards change while building connection. How to have anti-racist conversations, embracing our full humanity to challenge white supremacy. By me, Roxy Manning.